ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் த்ரீ வீடியோ ஆன் சொல்யூஷன் டு கர்நாடகா டெட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொஷின் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் தி இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் வாட்ச்ட் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஆன் சொல்யூஷன் டு டெட் கொஷின் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் யூ கேன் வாட்ச் தி வீடியோஸ் பை கிளிக்கிங் ஆன் தி ஐ பட்டன் எப்பியரிங் ஆன் யர் ஸ்க்ரீன் will start with question number 106 the ratio of the total surface area of a solid hemisphere to the square of its radius is option 1 3 pi is to 1 option 2 2 pi is to 1 option 3 4 pi is to 1 option 4 1 is to 14 they have asked us to find the ratio of tsa of hemisphere to square of the radius let me denote the radius as r the ratio is asked to square of the radius so tsa of hemisphere is given by 3 pi r square and the ratio is asked with respect to r square so we get 3 pi divided by 1 and if i write this in the form of ratio it is 3 pi is to 1 so therefore the right answer here is option 1 3 pi is to 1 question number 107 given a plus b plus c is equal to 10 and ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 25 then the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is option 1 625 option 200 option 3 250 option 4 500 they have given a plus b plus c which is equal to 10 and ab plus bc plus ca which is equal to 25 we need to find the value of a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc here we have a identity so this formula you need to remember we have a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is equal to a plus b plus c multiplied by a square plus b square plus c square minus of ab plus bc plus c so this formula you have to remember and using this identity we are going to solve this particular problem now in the question they have given us the value of a plus b plus c and ab plus bc plus c so we need to find what is a square plus b square plus c square first we will find what is the value of a square plus b square plus c square and then we will find the answer for given problem so we have a formula or the identity a plus b plus c whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca so here we can find the value of a square plus b square plus c square so we are provided with a plus b plus c which is 10 so this is 10 square we need to find what is a square plus b square plus c square and in these three terms we have two as common if i remove that two as common we have ab plus bc plus ca so 10 square is 100 which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 of ab plus bc plus ca that's also given in the question itself it is 25 so the value of a square plus b square plus c square is 100 minus 50 which is equal to 50 so now we will substitute all the values into this particular equation which i am indicating it as star then the value of a cube min sorry plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc which is a plus b plus c it is 10 multiplied by a square plus b square plus c square which we have found out just now it is 50 minus of ab plus bc plus ca that is given it is 25 so we'll just evaluate this this is 10 multiplied by 50 minus 25 is 25 which comes out to be 250 so therefore 
right answer for this question is option 3 250 question number 108 factors of a square minus 1 minus 2x minus x square are option 1 a minus x plus 1 into a minus x minus 1 option 2 a plus x minus 1 into a minus x plus 1 option 3 a plus x plus 1 into a minus x minus 1 option 4 a plus x plus 1 into a plus x plus 1 we need to find the factors for the expression a square minus 1 minus 2x minus x square we'll just try to simplify this so this i can write as a square minus of 1 plus 2x plus x square so if you just look into this expression this is nothing but x plus 1 whole square right x plus 1 whole square is nothing but it is x square plus 2x plus 1 so i'll just write this expression as x plus 1 whole square so this is a square minus x plus 1 whole square now this expression is of the form a square minus b square and it can be written as a plus b into a minus b so writing that as a plus b into a minus b that will be a plus x plus 1 and a minus b is x plus 1 so this will be a plus x plus 1 into a minus x minus 1 so therefore the right option is option 3 right a plus x plus 1 a minus x minus 1 option 3 is the right answer so if you are not able to simplify in this particular way you can get the answer from options itself you just multiply the two factors that is given so as to obtain this particular equation so when you multiply a plus x plus x to a minus x minus 1 you get the given equation so either of the ways you can use if you can able to simplify using the identities you can use the identities and simplify if not by checking with the given four options you can identify the right answer question number 109 pair of linear equations 5x plus 2y is equal to 2k and 2k plus 1x plus ky is equal to 3k plus 4 have an infinite number of solutions then the value of k is option 1 k is equal to 5 option 2 k is equal to 4 option 3 k is equal to 2 by 3 option 4 k is equal to minus 2 by 3 we are given with the pair of linear equations so we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 2k and the other equation is 2k plus 1 into x plus ky which is equal to 3k plus 4 if i write the general representation of linear equations i can write this as a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and the second equation i can write this as a2x plus b2y which is equal to c2 and it is given in the question that they have infinite number of solution so these pair of linear equation has infinite solution so when a given pair of linear equation has infinite solution we can write the co ratio of their coefficients are equal a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and which is equal to c1 by c2 so this is the condition we tell that the equations has infinite number of solutions so we will make use of this particular condition to find the value of k so now a1 is 5 a2 is 2 into k plus 1 you can just write it by comparing this so this is a2 k is b2 c2 is 3k plus 4 here a1 is 5 b1 is 2 c1 is 2k so a1 by a2 we have written b1 is 2 divided by b2 is k c1 is 2k c2 is 3k plus 4 we are asked to find the value of k 
among these three any two expressions we can consider say i'll consider the first two 5 by 2k plus 1 is equal to 2 divided by k just cross multiplying this i can write 5k is equal to 4 into k plus 1 so 5k is equal to 4k plus 4 5k minus 4k is equal to 4 so 5k minus 4k is k which is equal to 4 so this is the value of k so k is 4 and the right answer here is option 2 question number 110 x minus a is a factor of x cube minus a square x plus x plus 2 then the value of a is option 1 minus 2 option 2 6 option 3 minus 3 option 4 4 they have given us a cubic equation x cube minus a x square plus x plus 2 so let me consider this as p of x now here we are going to use reminder theorem and they have given x minus a is a factor of p of x since x minus a is a factor of p of x when you divide p of x by x minus a will get reminder as 0 so reminder will be 0 when you divide p of x by x minus a or i can write this x minus a is equal to 0 then the value of x is a so whenever you substitute the value of x as a in p of x you should get 0 so let us substitute now we need to find p of a that should be equal to 0 so p of a is means i told in this equation for x you will substitute a we'll do the substitution so that will be a cube minus a square into x is a now plus a plus 2 which is equal to 0. So a cube minus a cube plus a plus 2 is equal to 0. a cube and a cube get cancels with one another. We have a plus 2 is equal to 0 which means that a is equal to minus 2. We evaluated the value of a as minus 2 therefore the right answer here is option 1 minus 2. So this is how we use remind the theorem to find the value of a. I will stop this video here. Remaining questions will be solved in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the contents provided here are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel for more updates.